Greetings, Mech Warriors. This is going to be a part 2A walkthrough for version 3.6. We released 3.5 a little while ago. Uh, so let me go ahead and cover what the differences are. So first of all, under Organizations and Units, when you go to print the organizational report, it used to be that you only could click on one thing at a time and you had to go through it each time for everybody. Well, now there is a select all and select none. So you can turn them on, you can turn them off, so you can select certain ones. And then once you go ahead and hit off to the printer, it comes up with this little window and it says, please stand by, I have to do this slowly. So what will happen is, is uh, it takes about 10 seconds for the uh, each report to file uh, or be created, be saved, and then sent to the printer queue. So yeah, that was it right there. And once it's done with that, it goes away. And that's all there is to that. Uh, for most of the changes here have been to the roster. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a new roster. And if you notice, there's now six steps. There was five. Uh, and we now have an enter roster name, but let's go through them all in order here. We still have the roster size set by our defaults, roster variants, uh, year of battle, uh, rules level to use, type of units, and there is a select all and select none. Uh, Step four is still the organizations, and we can do the same thing, select all or select none. And now what we have to do is enter in the roster name now. So we'll just call this testing, testing, and we're going to generate the unit pool. So... Uh, everything else here still works the same except that notice that we uh, after I've selected these two units we now have a BV balance of 1158 units and don't you know all the units that are greater than that BV now turn red so this kind of helps you in the uh, in you know what you don't need to select or you might need to uh, delete something else we also have here now these guys and what these are is they are a way to uh, if you're like me and have a bad case of CDO that's obsessive compulsive disorder in alphabetical order the way it should be uh, you can now move things around so and anyone in the middle will have up and down the person the unit at the top will only have a down and the person at the end will only have an up so we click the up we click the up and now the atlas is first and then the centurion and then the Kikeda. everything else works the same and by the way if you delete things you won't see those arrows when there's only one and if we add something back again you'll only see the appropriate arrows so only will you see a single unit have up and down when it gets to three units in the roster uh, we also now have this I have gotten rid of the print screen and we've divided it up into two sections. A quick print will just print the roster itself. Uh, all I got to do is click that button and it pops out the printer. Uh, it's, that's why you had to put the roster name in before was so now it, it can do the roster name. 
if you want to do more and you can also keep doing this so you can you can make changes to the roster hit quick print and it will print out whatever is currently in the roster uh, side once you are done you can click print roster and here are your options you can print out the basic roster you can print out the battle results or and or you can click out or select the battle report notes or obviously unselect some of them and once you hit print roster then it will print those items and off it goes I have had several people ask me uh, about about uh, they don't want to put units in uh, organizations so I've come up with uh, under roster there is a new non org roster and what this does is this goes and if you notice it looks just like the other one but there's oh my goodness there's no organizations over here that's because this isn't going to the profiles um, inventory where you create organizations and you put units in organizations it doesn't look at that database it's looking at the main database it pulls all the data from so we'll say testing this time uh, we actually didn't save anything so I could say testing testing again but we'll just say testing uh, and generate unit pool so now here is the alphabetical listing of everything we've selected I didn't exclude any unit types so everybody's in here 3878 units that you get to pick from so this is what I was asked to provide this is what I have delivered there is now on this side though three buttons and we have next page we have plus 10 pages and we have go all the way to the last page same thing here we have prior page 10 pages prior and all the way to the beginning other than that it works exactly the same once you get your on target indicator you will be able to print and by the way if you get out of that those buttons do go away on both screens um, and if you notice they're all green here whereas in the regular uh, roster building screen the uh, colors are dependent on which organization for here they're all green no matter where you go so uh, that's it this is a real quick video showing the updates and just to get you a little excited yes I am working on being able to create alpha strike rosters uh, having to uh, create a whole bunch more of stuff but it's basically adaptation from uh, existing code so it shouldn't take too long but that will be for uh, roster builder 4 and who knows I might even be able to wrap my head far enough around clan structure to get that to work so hopefully we'll see you then you go have fun and we will see you on the battlefield